In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, God is one. Amen. Begin by reading Matthew chapter 6, verses 14 to 21. But I'd like you to take into account verses 1 through to 21 as well. This gives fasting, praying, and almsgiving the context of each other. The Lord says much the same things about each of the three of them. He says about alms, giving, giving away money to charity, to other people, uh, to good causes, to people who need it. He says about that, do it secretly. Make sure that nobody except for you knows all about it. Even, he says, don't let your right hand know what your left hand is up to. That's how secretly almsgiving needs to be. No one else, nobody, not even in your own household, should know what you're doing with your own money when you give it away. Then says, so secondly, about prayer, something very similar. When you pray, and notice that with each of these, it's not if. It's not if you give alms, it's when. It's not if you pray, it's when you pray. It's not if you fast, it's when you fast. It says about prayer. When you pray, go into your inner room, lock the door, pray there secretly. So you're not parading your holiness in front of other people. That's one of the reasons why it is that so many churches have windows that are well above eye level, so that people passing by cannot see who it is who's praying on the inside. It's a secret, quiet place where we go and we join with God. When you fast, again, not if you fast, nobody should know. The Lord criticises those people who go around with dreary faces, who may put on dreary clothing, who tell anybody else that they're fasting, oh, thank you very much, I cannot have the nice chocolate piece of chocolate cake that um, you're wanting to give me because it's your birthday, because I am so holy that I am fasting. <laughs> oh, well, you're so kind to have made me this nice ham sandwich. I cannot eat it because I am so holy that I am fasting. No one should know. Not even, strictly, those people in your own household. Now that might take a certain amount of subterfuge on your side. Well, go for it. Pretend that you're not fasting and fast in secret. You know loads of ways that you can fast. Many, many ways. It's not about food. It's not about just the physical things that go on in life. Not about drink. It's quite clear from what St. Paul says. All of those things are, in a sense, irrelevant to fasting. But when you fast, make yourself look nice. Turn yourself out well. Pretend that you're not fasting. If anybody asks you, say, oh, fasting, then change the subject. Talk about something quite different. I even know someone who, shortly after the fast begins, will have tea with milk in it, so that if anybody asks him, are you fasting this Lent? He can honestly say, I have not kept the fast. And that is quite a good idea. Okay, just one tea, just one sip of milk. I have not kept the fast. Um, so see what you can do. So as we enter into this wonderful season of Lent, make sure that your right hand doesn't know what your left hand is doing. Make sure that when you pray, you pray in secret. Make sure that when you fast, nobody except you knows what it is that you are doing. And then the, war, then the reward is yours. The Lord will reward you richly. And decorate your almsgiving, your prayer, 
and your fasting with love for other people. God bless you. Amen.